We love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows, we might just answer your question here in the studio audience next. Welcome back. We're joined today by Marie Osmond, author of the memoir, Behind the Smile, My Journey Out of Postpartum Depression. And this is Jessica, who feels that she may be in the throes of postpartum depression right now, right? Postpartum depression, I want to talk about this because it's a very serious condition. And here to help us discuss the issue today is Dr. Wendy Walsh. Thank you so much, Dr. Wendy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wendy rocks. Yes. Oh, she's yes, awesome. Yes. It's so good to see thank you. Thank you. My friend. Yeah. Now, yeah. Dr. Walsh, we thank you so much for being here today. And this is a really important topic, not just for Jessica, but for so many viewers at home. Because, yeah. you know, we talk about postpartum, but what a lot of people don't realize is that this is just one other form of depression. And we have millions of Americans who are suffering with depression. Right, the symptoms of postpartum depression actually aren't a whole lot different than depressive symptoms, right. except that there's a baby on board, right? Which yeah. exacerbates the environmental piece. And I think we have to remember that postpartum depression is partly hormonal and partly environmental. Yeah, well, this is, is what I found when I first came out with this and nobody was talking about it. Remember, our mothers went to the hospital and they stayed in the hospital for two weeks being taken care of by nurses. It was a medical emergency. With our medical <laughs> systems now, what do they do? You, you're fine, okay, get out of here. 24 hours. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. And then we used to have our families. We lived in communities. We don't have that community anymore. We go home and we start and we go right back to work. And it's just, it's this, it's this pressure that is overwhelming for women nowadays. And it's overwhelming for their husbands and their families and the children. Yeah, because the children, they, they feel, they sense things off of you. You know, if you're upset or you're sad. They're sponges. You know, yeah. They soak all that right up, and then they start, you know, they start reacting to how you feel. If you're sad, they're not going to be happy and cheerful. What, if they, what, what have you seen when you sit there and you sob in that room and you cry and cry? My and daughter, cry. She, she sits right beside me, mm. and, she, and she, she hugs me, and she holds me, and... And that hurts because she feels she feels what I feel, and I don't want her to feel that because she's an innocent child. But you know what? She has her secure base with her. Kids are there, and she's not being hurt as long as she's close to you. She's being hurt if you abandon her, neglect her, or physically hurt her. But cuddling is only going to feel good to a baby and a toddler. But I do believe that they need to know what's going on too, that it's not them. Let me tell you why. When I had postpartum depression, I gave all my children, I get, got the credit cards, I knew something was really wrong with me. I gave everything to my nannies and I got in the car and I started driving up the coast of California. And I, I'm a very religious woman, a spiritual person, and so I, I know that if I didn't have 40 years of wisdom that even though it felt logical to drive the car off the cliff, I couldn't. Young kids don't have that wisdom of age to keep them from doing crazy things. Anyway, I ended up in a hotel room. My mother found me, and she said, I'm going to tell you something I've never told anybody in my life. She said, when I had your, my last child, this was her ninth child, wow. she said, I, was, I had no idea who I was. I got in the car, and I drove up the coast of California. Wow. I was three years old. You tell me that there wasn't something inside of me that, that had that that abandon and flee. I remembered wow. that. I'm sure I did as a three-year-old. I, I mimicked her exactly. So I think it's important to help these mothers. But what I don't want you to leave and miss is what it feels like to be surrounded by people who really care and love you yeah. mm -hmm. in your process. So what does it feel like right now? Oh, it feels good. I feel like, like the, not the depression, but the, the level of like the intensity, you know, the the feeling of stress is just, it's like easing. So we know that. That's what we know is that when you're around people who genuinely support and care about you with no judgment, your ambient stress level drops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you're, you're bookmarked by two people that are doing that right now for yeah. you. What we've got to do is one of, the, one of the longest journeys we take is the 18 inches from here to here, from our head to our heart. And I, we want to invite you on that journey. But that journey is done better with people than alone. 
Yeah. So you're going to need support when you walk out of here. And I'm, I, I cannot relate to postpartum depression because I'm a man. <laughs> that's why Men I've been, can I've been, go through it. Depression I, I, is but, depression. But I, yeah. That's where I'm getting is I've been a little quiet on this segment, but I will speak up now and say I do know depression. And not just from my professional place. I've struggled with it and suffered with it. It's been a condition that's been lifelong. And I have gone through every treatment process you can get through. And now I'm on the other side of it. But I know it can be just around the corner. It's yeah. a process. But I can relate to you on that, and I know how dark it can get, and I know how challenging it can get. It's it's a it's a hard it's hard. And I think Dr. Wendy's right is when you have the environmental piece on board as well, it even amps up the pressure. So with your hormone levels and with your lack of sleep and with everything that's going on, and your husband not being there right now with his job, it's a perfect storm. One of the most important things I think I could tell you is you must get in control of your time, mm -hmm. because the hardest thing is when you have all these children, you feel like you lose your own life. So you stay up late. Do you sleep? Last night I got three hours. The okay. night before I got 30 minutes. What time do you usually go to bed? Two. Okay. There is ev so much evidence. I wish I could talk. We don't have a lot of time. But the, between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock is the best time to heal your hormones. You need to get your butt in bed by 9.30 when your children, get your children in bed, get them on a schedule. Even if you wake up at 1 and want to putter around. But that 10 to 12 is crucial for women to heal their hormones. And one of the things that I also want to leave you with here is we, we kind of mentioned it, but I really want to reiterate, hold your babies, love your babies, and let them know, even when they see mommy crying, this has nothing to do with you. Mommy is just sad right now, but it feels so good to have you here. Yes. And that will give them permission to experience the full range of their emotions as well. Yes. I thank you so much for sharing your story. Oh, you're welcome. I, I thank you. Helps a lot of people. Before, before we finish this, I think it's important too to note that only 15% of women with postpartum depression get professional support. Those that do, you have a 50% chance of getting better faster. Yeah. And so one of the things we want to do backstage after this is, is hook you up with our resource coordinator so that we can point you in the direction with good, res good professional support. And I'd like you to consider that as well. That would be awesome. I would take you up on that offer like well, we'll 100%. Definitely. Let's make that happen as soon as this is over. Thank you so much for You're being welcome. here. Thank and you. Dr. Walsh also, thank you for being here thank and you. helping My our pleasure. guests today. There's so much more help to be done, and Marie is going to stick around with us. So you stick around with us as well. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more of the Helpline right after this. Coming up. I want to know how it's impacting you. There is stress, and there is guilt, and there is shame. We love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows? We might just answer your question here in the studio audience next.